Okay, hello everyone. Here's Matthias from Trademo. And today the story continues, the beginner strategy part two. Um, first of all, can you hear me and see my screen clearly? Just a little feedback at the beginning. I would appreciate it. I see somebody is typing. Let's wait for this. Hello, yes, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Thanks for your feedback. Then let's start. And of course, you can ask all your questions during the session and I will have a look at the chat box because my, um, yeah, my co-host Timur Koban is not with me today. So I'm alone, but I have an eye on the chat box, I promise. Okay, so let's start with the part two. First of all, today's agenda is repeat step one and step two. Then, of course, we have a look at step three, enter the pending order, step four, manage the pending order, and finally, step five, manage the trade, the open position. And then I have some additions to you for you, um, which helps you a lot, I think, if you want to apply this strategy. Okay, let's continue and let's repeat this step one. The step one was, uh, determining the market direction in the M30 chart. And here you can see an example. So this is just a screenshot from TradingView. We are here in an M30 chart. So each candle represents 30 minutes time. And at this uh, time here, we have an uptrend. And why we have an uptrend? It's pretty clear. The last broken fractal was an up fractal with this candle here. And for this reason, we have here an uptrend. Yeah, let's have another look at a downtrend. Here at this point, we have a downtrend because the last broken fractal was a down fractal. Yeah, this last candle here has broken the down fractal. And for this reason here, we have a downtrend. Okay, this was the first step of the beginner strategy. Let's repeat step two, the trade opportunity in an uptrend. In an uptrend, we are switching to the M5 chart. Each candle represents five minutes. And in an uptrend, we are looking for a down uh, fractal, which is confirmed and broken. And this has happened here. Yeah? Um, I have here highlighted a vertical line. This was the time where we started to watching or observing the chart. And then, of course, we are waiting for a down fractal, which is confirmed and then broken. Nothing happens here. We are waiting, waiting, waiting. A new down fractal at a higher level appears. And then we take this. It's confirmed and broken. So this is the second step, trade opportunity. And this has happened with this candle here because we have here a broken down fractal in an uptrend in the five minute chart. Okay, then let's repeat the second step for a downtrend. In a downtrend, we are looking at up fractals. And please imagine or assume that we start to watching the chart at this point. Then we are looking for up fractals. Nothing appears, nothing appears. Then we have this little guy here. It's confirmed by the second candle to the right hand side. But unfortunately, to this point of time, it's not broken. And we are waiting. Down fractal appears, doesn't matter. And then, yeah, it goes up again. And here we have an up fractal, which is confirmed. And with this candle, it's broken. Yeah. So this is our trade opportunity. And you see, it was a mistake by accident. I have already entered here all the very important points for uh, typing in the pending order. So please ignore that for now. Um, but this here at this point was the trade opportunity in a downtrend because we have a broken up fractal in a five minute chart. Any questions regarding the first two steps of the beginner strategy? Okay, I think there's no question. Okay, then let's go ahead with step three, entering the pending order. 
to enter the pending order, we need four things. The first thing is the entry level, of course. And the entry level is the last confirmed up fractal in an uptrend and the last confirmed and broken down fractal in a downtrend. Yeah, we will have a look at an example right now. Um, the second thing we need, of course, is a stop loss because we want to reduce or minimize our risk. And for this, we take the last confirmed down fractal in an uptrend and the last confirmed up fractal in a downtrend. Here you can see very clear that all the fractals are very, very important to us. So we have to take care and pay attention to these fractals every time. For the take profit, we take the next pivot point or the pivot line, uh, but only if it is at least five pits away. Yeah, if the next pivot point or pivot line is only three or four pips away from the entry level, then we take the next one because we need some space to make money and only three or five pips is not enough. And of course, last but not least, the fourth important aspect here is the position size. And the beginner strategy is quite simple in this uh, point because you don't have to calculate some uh, difficult calculations. So you have the simple calculation that you can take 0.01 lot or one micro lot, in other words, per $100. For example, your account is, let's say, $400, then you can trade four micro lots or, the, or 0 0.0.1 lots. So this is pretty simple. Or $700, then of course you can trade seven micro lots. If you have only $70, uh, $70, then you cannot trade the beginner strategy except your broker offers you nano lots. Nano lots is then 0 0.001. So one step further, then it is possible to trade the beginner strategy with a very, very tiny account. So this is possible. Okay, then how does it look this in practice? So entering the pending order, the third step of the beginner strategy in an uptrend. As I already mentioned, in an uptrend, we are looking for a down fractal, which is broken. So we can see this here. And if this happens, then we take the last confirmed up fractal for the entry level. So this is this one. This up fractal here is confirmed because two candles to the right hand side are closed already. And we cannot take this one here because it's not confirmed yet. You see only one candle, the candle which leads to the trade opportunity here. Yeah. We are missing the second candle to the right hand side to take this up fractal here as our entry level. Okay, so now we have the entry level. The next thing we need to know uh, we need to do is to set our stop loss. And for the stop loss in an uptrend, we take the last confirmed down fractal. And this here is a down fractal, the last one, the most recent one. And it is already confirmed because two candles to the right hand side are closed. Yeah. For this reason, this is our stop loss level. And a little recommendation to you, take one pip below the low of the candle. So for example, the low of this candle is 113.02. And we set our stop loss one pip below, yeah, 11301, or in this case, I took two pips, but in general, uh, one pip is enough. Give the market a little space to breathe and not just the uh, low of the candle. So just one pip below should be fine. Okay, and then of course, we need to take profit. And to take profit is the next pivot line above our entry level. This here is our entry level. 
it's around 113.25 and the take profit is the next pivot line if it is at least five pips away. And this is the case here. You can see this is 113.31, around 32, and this is enough space to the upside, more than five pips. So this is what we are typing in into our order mask to in the pending order. Yeah? The, I just repeated. So the entry level is the last confirmed up fractal. The stop loss level is the last confirmed down fractal and the pit below. And our take profit level is the next pivot line five pips or more above our entry level. Yeah, this is our setup for entering the pending order in an uptrend. Any questions about this? No. Okay. Um, let's have a look at a downtrend. Yeah, we are watching the trend at this point. Then we have here our trade opportunity because in a downtrend we need to have a broken up fractal and this was happened here with this candle and at this point we can enter the pending order and for the pending order we need of course again the entry level and the entry level in a downtrend is the last confirmed down fractal we can see here this is the last down fractal it is already confirmed and this is our entry level the stop loss level is the last confirmed up fractal so you can see this up fractal here and this is our stop loss again you can make here this the same approach to take the stop loss level just one pip above the very high of this candle just to give the market a little space to breathe. Just one pip above the high of the candle is the stop loss level. And then of course we need our take profit level and the take profit level is the next pivot line below our entry level. Yeah, And you can see this is here. And this is more than five pips away so we can take this easily. Yeah, this is entering the pending order in a downtrend. Okay, any questions to step three, regardless if it's uptrend or downtrend? This is not the case. Okay, then let's go ahead to step four. Step four is managing the pending order. And I have managed it many, many times. The fractals are so important to us and we have to pay attention to all the fractals. As soon as a new fractal is created or appears, uh, which has been confirmed, and this is very important, all fractals needs to be confirmed, then we have to change and edit our pending order. We have to adjust our entry level and we have to adjust our um, stop loss level. And if we change our entry level, and a new pivot line is more important to us, then of course we have to change our take profit level as well. Yeah, this is very, very important. And now of course we have some examples here. So for example, here we have an, an uptrend and an uptrend, if a new fractal appears, then we need to adjust the stop loss levels. For example, here, we have this down fractal and if a new down fractal appears, then we move our stop loss further down. Yeah. And the same is if the market goes further, then we can take other take profit levels for other more important um, take profit lines or uh, pivot lines. Okay, then here is an example for a downtrend. In a downtrend, 
we are moving our entry level. So the, the initial entry level was, let's say, this one. And then new down fractal appears, then our entry level is moving up a little bit to the new level. Yeah, and the same thing you need to do all the time. If a new up fractal appears in a downtrend, then we move our stop loss to the new level. And if a new down fractal appears, then of course we need to move our entry level in the pending order to the new level. And the same happens with the take profit level. If a new entry level is much higher, and a higher pivot line comes into play, then of course we need to change our take profit level as well. Now I see somebody has asked somebody, something in the chat box. Are frackles available on MetaTrader 5? I have tried to find them, but have not been able to locate them. If they are available, how do I set them up? Um, they should be, but I'm not 100% sure, but please, uh, looking for indicators and then William. Yeah, there is somebody, something called William, Larry Williams sometimes. And then in a suborder, there should be William fractals or fractal Williams, something like that. So in MetaTrader 4, it is there for sure, I can promise. But the meta trade of five, I do not know exactly. Sorry for that. But try Williams or Williams fractals, something like that should work. Okay, then let's continue with step five: managing an open position. And an open position is adjusted only in relation to the stop loss levels. Of course, if we are in a trade, then we cannot change the entry level because we are still, we are already in the position and the take profit level is also fixed and we cannot change it anymore. But the stop loss level can be changed and we only change the stop loss level in our favor. So to reduce our risk, we are moving our stop loss higher in an uptrend and we are moving our stop loss lower in a downtrend just to reduce our risk. We will never ever uh, make the stop loss bigger than the initial stop loss was. Yeah, and of course we need to wait for confirmed fractals. This is always important to wait for the confirmation of a fractal. Okay, how this looks like in practice. So, for example, here we are entering this was our entry level, yeah, and the initial stop loss level was this. Then we moved it down to this level, we moved it down to this level. Nothing happens. We are here in step four, managing the pending order. Nothing happens. A new down fractal appears, it's not confirmed yet, so we cannot use it. Then this candle here comes up and this level triggered our pending order. So from this point on, we are long in Euro dollar and we can only move our stop loss higher. And we can use this down factor if it is confirmed. And this down factor here is confirmed if the second candle to the right hand side is closed. Yeah, this has happened if this kind of started to linking up. And yeah, for this reason, we can move our stop loss higher and to this level, reduce our risk, of course. And then yeah, nothing happens, market goes sideways. Unfortunately, then the market goes through and we are out of the market at this level here. At this level, we are out of the market. Okay, let's have a look to a downtrend example. So here we are managing a position in a downtrend. Um, yeah, this was here our entry level. And right after we entering the pending order, we are in the position. Yeah, here our pending order was triggered 
And if this happens, of course, our stop loss level can only move lower to reduce our risk. The initial stop loss was at this level. And then this uptrackle appears and it was confirmed after this candle has closed. And then, of course, we can move our stop loss lower to this level. And the market goes sideways, nothing spectacular happens, and the market goes up again. So this is a potential new stop loss level, a lower one, of course. And But we need to wait for the confirmation. Two candles to the right-hand side has to be closed, have to be closed. And then this bearish candle here appears, which leads our trade into the take profit level. And this, for example, here was a winner. Yeah, the stop loss was not triggered, fortune to our fortune, uh, but the take profit was. So this was a winning trade. Okay, so then I have some additions for you. Um, all trades are closed at 7 p.m. Berlin time or Copenhagen time or Amsterdam time. So standard European time. Um, if you live in a different time zone, then of course you have to consider your own time zone. So we don't want to have an open trade after 7 p.m. because then the market goes more illiquid and the spreads between bid and ask are widening and this is not the best environment for us. In general, it is to say that we never open a trade after 6 p.m. Yeah, If it is 6 p.m. and you don't have made a trade, then it's you can call it a day. Yeah, that's it. So you cannot make a new trade after 6 p.m. Berlin time again. Um, then another very good recommendation is if you see a clear range in the M30 chart, then you do not apply the strategy because this strategy is a trend following strategy. And if you have a range, then of course you don't have a trend. But the strategy need a trend to have successful trades. Do you know what, what the range is? If not, just let me know, then I can show you what the range is. Okay, then the fourth point is, if there are no take profits, so you don't see any pivot lines above or below the chart, if you go long, then of course it's above, if you go short, then it's below, then you cannot make the trade. So if the price is already above resistance three pivot line or below um, support three pivot line, then you cannot apply the strategy. And last but not least, and then of course I will answer your question, um, an extra, uh, extra confirmation is very, very helpful. And uh, extra confirmation could be that the trend in H4 is the same as in M30. So remember, we determining the market direction in step one with the fractals. And if the trend is up in an M30 chart and it is also up in an H4 chart, then you have here a pretty cool setup for applying this strategy. Okay, uh, absolutely correct, absolutely correct, Hans Peter. Um, you, you're right. My guess would be a long period of sideways movement without trends. Absolute correct. And let's have a look at a practical example. So let's switch to M30. So this is already M30. Let's make it here a little bit more like this. So what is a pretty clear range? So this, for example, here is a very cool downtrend. And it's very stable and it's good to trade. 
but what is a range, for example, here. At this time here, over more than two days, we have a range. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Yeah. Here you can see there is no clear uptrend or no clear downtrend. And in these times, it is very difficult to apply the beginner strategy successfully. And my recommendation is to avoid this strategy in these days and yeah, take another spot, but avoid this one because it only goes sideways. We have a range here from 114.50 down to 140.10 almost. So um, only 40 pips within two days. And this is almost nothing. Yeah. Just avoid this uh, is my simple recommendation to you. OK. Um, yeah. If you want so, we can do some practical examples together. Just let me know. Um, which time I should start. So let me go moving the chart. You know this little game. And just say stop any, at any point. Stop. OK. And one stop again to set the vertical line. OK, stop. So I have to set a vertical line at this time here. So this was here. OK, now we are looking to let's continue all the five steps of the beginner strategy. And let's look what, uh, what happens. First of all, we ignore the time now because it's just a simulated trade. And in general, the recommendation is not to trade after 6 p.m. and close every trade after 7 p.m. We ignore that for a moment just to explain the beginner strategy as an entire thing. OK, what is the market direction at this time here? What do you mean? Do we have an uptrend or do we have a downtrend? Down, perfect. Of course, we have this down fractal here, and this down fractal is confirmed uh, because two candles to the right hand side are closed. And this candle here broke this down fractal, and for this reason, we have a downtrend. Yeah, this down fractal here is not confirmed yet, so we have to ignore this. But this down fractal here is broken, and for this reason, we have a downtrend from this at this point here. Now, the second step is we have to switch to the five minute chart. Five minute chart. And of course, I need to look, I need to search the, the vertical line first. It could take a while. Sorry for that, guys. Hmm, have I overlooked here the vertical line? Cannot see the vertical line. Hmm. Ah, here we are. Okay. It, it was hard to see that. Okay. In a downtrend, we are looking for what? For an uptrend or for a down, uh, for an up fractal or down fractal. What do you think in a downtrend? The second step of the beginner strategy. Up. Okay, perfect. Now we are looking for an up fractal. Here we are. We need the confirmation. Two candles to the right hand side, and here we are. Now we are waiting for this up fractal here is broken or a new up fractal appears, of course. This also can happen. Market goes down. A lot of down fractals appears, but we don't care. 
And here we have a new down fractal, a uh, new up fractal, and we are waiting for this up fractal. And here we are. At this time here, at this, with this candle, with this specific candle here, this up fractal here is broken. And at this period of time, we can set our pending order. And the pending order means we are entering the market at the last confirmed down fractal. Yeah, this is here. This is the level we want to go short. Remember, guys, we cannot use this down fractal because this is not confirmed yet, because this candle is still active. Yeah, please imagine that because the up move here breaks the up fractal, and in this time the candle is still moving. Okay, then of course we need the stop loss level, and the stop loss level we are taking the last confirmed up fractal. So this one, let's make it red. And then of course we need our take profit level. And this is a great example. Um, you can see here, this was the last pivot line, the last potential take profit. And below this here, you can see there is no pivot line anymore. And for this reason, we should avoid the beginner strategy in, the, in this specific case because we don't have any potential take profit. So this was one of the exceptions, one of the additions I showed you. Okay, so this is not the best example to, to show you, but maybe we can do another one, a, a last example together. Let's just remove all these lines here, then switch to M30, and then the last example we can do together. Okay, you know it, I just need a stop from you guys. Okay, there is, okay, and another one to set a vertical line. Okay, here we are at this specific candle here. And the first step is to say what market direction we have at this period of time here. So what do you think? Do we have an uptrend, a downtrend, or should we avoid to apply the strategy? What do you think? Looks like a downtrend, okay. What do the other think? It is indeed it is an uptrend because we have here this up fractal was broken with this candle, and for this reason we have an uptrend. Yeah? From this point on here, we have an uptrend and we are looking for a downtrend in an IM5 chart. So let's switch to a five minute chart. And then of course I need to looking for the vertical line. Here we are. This is our vertical line. And in an uptrend, we are looking for a down fractal. Uh, the market goes sideways, more and more to the upside, and a down fractal appears, but remember guys, we have to wait for the confirmation. This happens with a second candle to the right hand side. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And now we need this down fractal as a broken down fractal. 
or a higher down fractal. Up fractal appears, but we don't care. And here you can see this. This is the low of the down fractal. And the last candle here broke the level. Yeah? At this time here, we can set our pending order. And in an uptrend, the entry level is the last confirmed up fractal. So this little guy here. This is our entry level. The stop loss is the last broken, uh, the last confirmed down factor. So this one here, and of course it's a stop loss, so I make it red. And then of course we need our take profit level, and the take profit level is the next pivot line. So the level here, and I make it green. So this is our take profit level. Okay, so this was the third step of the beginner strategy. And everything we need to do now is to pay attention to all fractals which are confirmed. Yeah, at this time here, when this candle started, then of course this down fractal is confirmed and we can move our stop loss to this level. And of course we can take one pip additionally um, to give the market a bit, little bit more to breathe. Then an up fractal appears. We, we are waiting for the confirmation. And this happens now. And this is our new entry level. And now you can see this new pivot line here comes into play. But it is only one pip away. And we cannot use this as a take profit level. So for now, it looks pretty cool. Our stop loss level is at 113. The stop loss level is at 112. 696, so only four pips above. And our take profit level is at 113.15, so 15 pips um, away. So the risk reward ratio is 4 to 15, which is great. Let's have a look how it continues. Market goes down. A new down fractal appears and it's confirmed. So this means we need to move our stop loss to this level because we are managing a pending order and not an open position. Market goes, goes sideways. And of course, we would never do the trade because it's after 7 p.m., but just for explanation reasons, I can show you this. And at this time here, we have a new up fractal, which is already confirmed. And now we can move our entry level to this lower level. And now the new pivot line here comes into play. And this is now more away than five pips. So it's 1296 and this here is 13.02, so it's six pips away, and six pips is more than five pips. So we can move our stop loss to this level here. And let's wait what happens next. Down fractal appears, and it's confirmed. So this means we can move our stop loss to, the, to this new level. And here, with this candle, we are long. Now we have an open position. Yeah, because this candle here triggers our pending order. And from this point on, we have an open position. We are long in euro dollar. And the only thing we need to do now is to wait that this 
the trade is running into our take profit or into the stop loss. And of course, we can manage the stop loss and only in the direction to our favor. So to reduce the risk. Let's see what's happened. Yeah, a new down fractal appears and two candles to the right hand side confirmed the level. So we can move our stop loss higher. The risk is now very, very low. And unfortunately, this trade here runs into the stop loss again. Okay, but I think it was pretty sure, pretty clear what you need to do. Or do you have any questions regarding the application of the beginner strategy? No questions. Okay. Any other questions regarding the financial markets or other topics maybe I can answer you? Well, no. Okay. Um, then let me show you something about the uh, premium service, just one or two minutes. Um, if you want to learn more about the beginner strategy and, and further things, then of course you can subscribe to our premium service. Um, I give you the link in the chat box. And of course you can use a, a voucher. It's called Tradimo one, you can type this into the voucher field, voucher code, and then the first month costs you only $1 instead of $49 monthly. And then you can test all our services and you can join, of course, our Slack community, EN discussions. You see all the trades we are making in our um, account. For example, today we bought orange juice, frozen orange juice, and of course, you get personal mentorship in, in projects, where you can test your knowledge, and, and, and. So it's, it's a lot of benefit to you, I think, and it is worth to spend $1 to test us. And if you're not happy with us, then of course you can cancel the premium service at any time. So you don't have to wait six months or so. You can cancel the service every single day. Okay. Um, Will this presentation be available view after presentation? Yes, and it is in terms of, yeah, you can watch the recording and the recording will be available on YouTube um, tomorrow or latest on Thursday. And then of course we show you the link to the YouTube channel in, um, in the newsletter. And regarding the, YouTube channel, let me show you YouTube. Now, just seconds. So there you can watch all the videos we have made in the past. Not all of them, um, but all the free webinars you can watch if you type in here Tradermo and click on Tradermo and then on videos. Then here you see it beginner strategy part one was then how to pick stocks for investments, golden rules for money management, um, and so on. Yeah, we had a lot of um, webinars in the past and you can watch all of them here. Okay, that's it. So have a nice evening. That was Matthias from Trademo. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.